up guys welcome to another Porsche build video we're finally uh, gonna go pick up those heads and bring down those cylinder sleeves to get those measured what we said we were gonna be doing for the past five videos we're actually gonna be doing this time first thing we got to do is clean up the cylinders some are oily some have duct tape on them so we're gonna go get those cleaned up and uh, take it from there let's do it all right so in this box we got the uh, the cylinders that came off of the engine they're super greasy and dirty, so we're gonna clean those up. And in this box, we got the ones that we ordered online. They're all sandblasted, but they got duct tape in them. So once we take that duct tape off, there's gonna be a whole bunch of goo in there, so we gotta clean those up as well. So even the clean ones we have to clean. It's like one of those weird satisfying things to watch. Super bendy. There's some clean inside and out. Okay, we're off to Jay's shop now, Mirage International, to see what he says about these and to pick up our, what's it called? Heads. Yeah, those. Okay, we just picked these up from Jay's. They look pretty awesome. Okay, so what we're looking at here, we got, no, just, yeah, springs and retainers. Yeah, we got, we got a new valve spring set, titanium valve spring retainers. Uh, all new seals. Um, we got the we got them resurfaced. We got um, the intake port board out a few cc's, and then we got them all measured out, and they're perfect within 0.5 of a cc. So pretty excited. Jay's got uh, both sets of cylinders right now. He says he's going to measure them up and get back to us in a few days. Pretty clean, especially these springs. The springs are pretty clean. Can't really tell, but they're pretty clean. Was that the parking police? That the parking police just rolled by in their what? smart car. What the fuck? Are they gonna be mad at our motorcycles? Nah. Maybe there was a parking-related emergency. <laughs> okay, so it's been another week or so, and we got a bunch of parts in. And what we have to do right now is figure out exactly what everything is and organize it in a step-by-step -step manner um, so we're not wasting our time, uh, you know, fucking with the wrong bolts. There's a lot of shit. Yeah, there's, um, this is the entire case hardware rebuild kit. So uh, we got all the gaskets and bolts and everything we need. So special shout out to Pelican Parts. Because this guy right here. If you look at it, it's got like nuts and bolts on it. We thought they were extra parts, but it's actually a bunch of jelly beans. Nothing better than opening your box full of car parts and finding out that the company decided to send you jelly beans. Yeah. I guess Pelican Parts understands that literally everybody loves jelly beans. And you need a snack when you're doing car work. We yep. should have known because it says Jelly Belly on the back, but. I didn't see that. Yeah, we missed that. Huh. Well, it is bean shaped, so that's kind of a giveaway as well. But it does have nuts and bolts on the front. Yeah. Okay, so we were unsuccessful finding what the case through bolts look like on the computer. So I guess the best way to do that would to just be remove one and compare it to the seals that we have over there. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take one of these out and try to find the part and the new parts that we have so we can replace all of these uh, case through bolt gaskets. And uh, as we've said before. Dude, only your mustache is showing, hold on. Yeah, I know. There you go, buddy. All right. And as we said before, we're not splitting the case. So in order to do this, we gotta do these one at a time, take one out, place the gaskets, put it back in, torque it down, then take the next one out. So, that's what we're doing today. And uh, we're also gonna put those head studs in. But that takes like two seconds. Those gaskets were, gaskets were pretty crappy. That one's just broken. Like that one's not that not. bad, but there's still it's 30 years old, so we're just gonna do every, every single one of them. That's a case through bolt. Uh, we're gonna move on and do all 12 of these now. 
Nice new little blue ones. Slip it down the first side, put the bolt through, pop it on the other side, crank it back down to torque. All right, so we're gonna install these head studs now. Long side goes into the case. You just dab a little bit of thread lock in there. You bottom them out. And then the important thing is to make sure that they're all measured to the exact same length. Yeah, they all gotta be equal to each other. Um, it's really not difficult to do. All this stuff's easy, so uh, we're just gonna get it done. Yeah, she's a little Allen key nut goes on there. You just bind them up together so you can actually spin these down with some real tension. Now what we're just going to do is just check the height on these to make sure they're exactly the same. With this last one, we fixed the problem that the car originally had and why we're even doing this project in the first place. The entire reason why we took out the engine, because it had broken head studs. There's we actually four of them on this row. It's pretty exciting that this is a good start to the assembly process. We got a bunch of parts over there. We got more on the way. And this winter, uh, we should be able to bang this project right out. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Um, if you're wondering why it's just me, Devin's in Mexico. I actually put the engine here so it's not weird. Um, got a few things to talk about. Obviously it took a long time to get this video out. Uh, we actually said that this might happen, um, I think in our last build video. Obviously the business pays for the build, so that's taken top priority um, at this time of year. We've gotten a lot of the parts that we've been waiting on and I'm gonna actually pick up the camera and show you guys what we have and what we're waiting for. And uh, we're ready to just roll and get regular videos coming. At this point it looks like we have a week and a half or two weeks until the pistons are done and then we have everything we need to make um, a complete long block. So let me just show you what we have right now. So you guys probably think we haven't been doing shit this whole time but we got these bad boys resurfaced and ported. We got these measured and this is the best set for us to use. Our uh, camshafts are ready and perfect. Here's a bag of timing gears for the long block assembly. We got all the long block assembly gaskets, uh, hardware, so like all the shit that fell all over the floor. Brand new. Um, cam towers have been cleaned up and ready to go. Timing boxes, same deal. Got these weird uh, cylinder air baffle things, and then obviously the motor. Any way you look at it though, we're gonna start banging this out because we wanna get the car done and we wanna drive it. I can't tell you how much it sucks walking by every morning and there's no motor in it. And people keep coming by and asking if they could buy it. I feel like people are driving by thinking that we neglect the car and they wanna take it off our hands, but. All right, anyways guys, I'm rambling on. Um, you can expect regular content from this point forth. Um, maybe a small delay between this video and the next one simply because I don't know the exact amount of days for the pistons to be done and that is obviously a critical piece to the next few steps of this build. Um, it, there's there's gonna be no more you know month and a half, two month delays though. So remember to rate the video, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time. One more thing actually, you may have noticed that we love our motorcycles. If there's any gaps in the future, what do you guys think about uh, maybe like a bobber build? We have this old motorcycle, it's actually really good condition, it's a uh, 83 Nighthawk 650. We've been thinking about doing, you know, bobbing it out for a long time. 
and we wouldn't mind making a mini series out of that if you guys are interested uh, just let us know in the comments and we can start doing this as like a side project you know pump some more content out uh, let us know what you think